hi everyone welcome to my channel if you're new please kind of subscribe in this video today i have this 2005 toyota highlander brought to me by my client to install a radio and a reverse camera to into it this is the stock head um, that comes with the car and i bought another android navigation radio on aliexpress which matches the trim of the car this is um, an SUV with a JBL amp and if you look on the radio on the side of the speakers you're gonna see it has the JBL um, logo and this comes with a special wiring harness that come with the Android Ed unit to make the JBL amp work and that's all I'm gonna be showing you on how to remove radio and then install the head ring. first you're gonna need your prying tool to take out the dash trim all around Once the dash screen is taken out, um, you can see comparing it to the radio I bought, um, they're kind of similar. All I have to do is to remove the um, hair control vent and then the clip all around it and transfer it into the new radio. Now I've successfully transferred the clips from the old um, trim to this new one with the radio attached including the hair vent uh, control and now I have just have to take the old radio out and there are six um, 10 millimeter bolt holding the radio down three on each side of um, the panel you're gonna have to take them out with your 10 millimeter ratchet and socket Now once you do that, you just carefully pull the radio out and at the back of the radio you have wiring harness that you need to uh, disconnect and including the antenna wires, there's three, two harness at the bottom and then two, one to the climate control. You need to disconnect all of them and once that is done, you have your radio. Now to take this radio off the panel, you have um, six bolts in general three on each side you just have to um, take them all out and once that is done you can remove the old radio now that the old radio is out i'm gonna have to return this uh, face panel back in there because it has a climate control and uh, i'm gonna be plugging the harness back because we still need this to control um, the AC and heat and here in the car. And as well, I'm going to put the six screws holding it down back in there and then screw them back in place. As I mentioned earlier, this car has a uh, JBL amplifier in it and so there's a special um, cam boss that's sold along with the harness so that the radio can work with the JBL. And these are all the wiring harness that um, this is the JBL wiring harness that I need to plug into the car hand and they also have the steering wheel control which is going to help me retain the um the factory steering wheel control on the car now i just have to plug the rca cables um this rca yellow rca this is the reverse camera input and i have the reverse camera wire over here um that's the brown wire here is the reverse camera trigger and you can see this is the reverse camera that I'm going to be running all the way to the back of the car and as well the GPS down here I'm going to and also I have a microphone which I'm going to be hanging somewhere around there and 
the reverse camera will be wired will be run all the way to the back now i just have to plug everything in and test the radio and see if it works now if i plug everything um so this is the rca for the reverse camera like i said and this is the reverse camera trigger that will be joining with the red wire and the brown wire together from the radio so that when i put my car in reverse it's going to show that's the antenna wire i'm going to be plugging in as well so i can pick up the radio and this is where i drop the two usb for the car down on this side so all i just have to do is to uh put it up and then test the uh, radio to make sure it works now after in, um, starting the car the sound from the radio did not come out at first and um, the cam balls did not work as I said it's gonna work but I found a way on how to fix it I have a video in my channel on how to uh, fix it if you ever have this issue I do my I did my own wiring all over again with the line output converter I'm gonna be leaving the link in this video as well you can watch it now moving on with the rest of the installation especially the reverse camera around the wire all through um, the top and all the way to the back of the car I open um, this and then run the wire through the wiring garment over here by cutting it just a little bit it was really difficult it's not an easy job i open this panel trim over here at the back um in the trunk these are all held together by plastic uh, clips you can take them all out by just pushing them it's so simple you're gonna have to loosen the wiper motor a little bit so you can be able to um, gain access to the trim at the back here where i put the reverse camera on top so it's just uh, a job you have to be very meticulous about it and if you if you pay attention you'll be able to uh run it easily and for uh the reverse camera for light tapping this wiring harness over here the pink wire is actually the reverse um signal wire and how did i know all i did was to put use my multimeter um, plug it into while the car was in reverse and then you're gonna know this is everything i've done i put it back and i will also be putting the uh, panel trims for the trunks back the way they were in the first place like i said um everything is pretty much um it's easy if you if you know what you're doing um put the panel back in place cover everything up there's a bolt over here which you have to remove in the first place it's a 10 millimeter bolt just screw it back in there as well and once that is done your reverse camera is fully installed and Yeah, now my reverse camera is fully installed. Now I just have to go in the car and test and see if it actually worked. Yep, you can see uh, it worked well. The reverse is the reverse camera is so clear. The car is in reverse, and then you can see. And um, this is where I put the GPS. And um, like I mentioned, for the sound issue in the car, uh, I have a link on how to rectify this. Yeah, I also configured the steering wheel control. It's working. The only issue I had was the fact that the sound wasn't coming out at this point when I was recording the video, but I later fixed that. You can check my channel for that. And uh, this is where I have my microphone and GPS and the two USB. I dropped them down right there.
all right now that the installation is complete if you like this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up thank you and see you again sometime